everybody, welcome to part three of my three-part series with Adobe Stock for Start With Stock. My name is Elise Swopes. We are going to be going over how to create paid partnership content all with your phone with Adobe Stock. Adobe Stock has been such a huge help when it comes to a lot of my paid projects. And luckily for you, I've got a lot of secrets to share. The special thing about this third part is I'm gonna show you the behind the scenes of how I create product shots with just my phone. You can do the same thing and upload these same photos to Adobe Stock to sell. So, shall we get into it? Let's go. stock layer. I'm going to find a Chicago skyline with the lake. Definitely want some water in there. So let's see if we can find something that would be worth our while. Really like this. Oh, this could work. Similar images. Definitely work. This is a really good one. It has a lot of good space. Let's License the sky, license the stock. Resize, put them up there. And then let's add another layer. This is gonna be some water, so let's do below water to add a cool little effect. And for a very specific kind of style. Oh, I've used this one before, I like this one. So let's open this, just cut out. A little basic size, hardness. Race. Change the color a little bit. Temperature up. So now the way that the product shot is going to be placed in there is we're going to add another layer. Go to our product. Go ahead and cut this out. Doesn't need to be perfect at first. We're gonna run back around it. So now we've got the bottle. But the thing is, is that I do want it to be within the skyline. So the easiest way I think right now, instead of cutting out the bottle the way that the skyline is shaped, the nice thing about this background photo from Adobe Stock is that I can use a cutout tool, do a smart subtract, just get rid of that blue background. Now you can erase one of the buildings and replace it. No more building. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do an image Look for a stock background for a cloud layer to cloud sky. Let's see if we can find something cool to put in the background. I really like this background, it looks pretty. License this one. And then let's bring it to the bottom layer. So let's do an orange, peel, isolated, search. Let's do orange slice. As if it's like the sun, right? So I'm gonna license that. Do another cutout of this. Cut out, subtract here. I'm gonna send that to the back of that our sun. Now I also want to add some fishies on the bottom there. Swimming switch. This would be cute. 
cute. Add a turtle. Let's try to cut out. Now, are there turtles in the lake? I don't know, but now there is. Let's add back, spin back in there. Don't want to spin. Okay. Let's add them in the water. So now you've seen how I have made um, some of my biggest paid art just on mobile and using Adobe stock imagery. And it's been such a, such a big help to not only feel like the ideas are unlimited, but that the possibilities are actually unlimited thanks to Adobe stock. Thank you so much for tuning in to my three-part series with Adobe Stock for Start With Stock. I hope you had as much fun as I did creating these three pieces. Please just stay inspired, feel like you can do absolutely anything because I'm telling you the possibilities are unlimited. So till next time, take care.